so far away And I know that I made some mistakes But it's you my mind won't let me erase Can't get you out of my mind It's like it's stuck in my brain The way the life sings Yo, what to it do? It's your boy, MTG King, and I'm back on the screen. Everybody has a great, amazing, blessed Thursday. Um, I'm literally on my way to the doctor. Hey, guys, let me tell you, I woke up like I said something. I thought I was late. I thought I forgot to put my alarm on. I don't know what I was thinking because I fell asleep like around. I think it was like almost, I think like 4.50, about to be 5 when I finally knocked out. And I forgot, I didn't know if I put my alarm or not. And what I did, but I ended up like jumping out of bed like at 6 o'clock. I was like, damn, I'm late. But nah, so I had my alarm set for 7 o'clock. But anyway, so guys, I'll see you when I make it up there. Chill. Yo, what's up? I have to get the, to, to the doctor and stuff. I came on the bus, guys. I, like I said, I've been in pain. And I, today, yesterday, I was so tired. And because I have this bone on my heel. And it literally, as I'm walking, and as I've been walking for like the last uh, three, four days, I literally feel the bone rubbing up and down of my shoe and it's hurting, so that's why I didn't want to walk. So I got the boys to catch y'all when I'm inside. What's up, fam? They finally they got me and they got me really fast because it's barely 7:41. But hopefully I'm out soon, so I'm ready for us to go home and go to sleep. I'm so sleepy. great amazing blessed day and oh man this is my view guys for those of you that don't know me I know that this was like one of my views when I first came here before they even did the surgery when I just came to talk to them about how the surgery was going to go down and stuff <coughs> I think I was in this room too. Oh no, it was in the room next door. No, 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 actually it wasn't. No, no, yeah, it was the room next door. Anyway, so hope y'all having a great day and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Unfortunately, I had to get shots. Um, they didn't actually mean they, not like, and when I mean shots, I mean more like the, um, on the sides of where they did the procedure. Oh my god, I don't even feel that pain, guys. <sighs> I was gonna see if I could get it um, recorded while they're doing it, but I don't know if they'll let me. I'm gonna try, but they might not let me. But I'll see how I end up in a Yo, what's up with it, dude? I just got off the, the bus. Oh, walking up here to my house already. Man, that injection freaking hurt, guys. <laughs> like, I was trying to vlog it, but it was impossible because I don't even have my damn, my stand to stand my phone on and stuff. So, I couldn't find a place to actually, like, set it to where it wouldn't uh, tip over. But, man, it got me, like, right. They caught me, like, right here. I'll probably show y'all. I'll probably take a picture and insert a picture. Like where it's bandaged, they just put a bandaid on it. But man, that, that crap hurt, man. The needle was, that needle was long. It was like about that long. I should have took a picture of the, the needle. It was two different medications and it did burn. But I'm about to get to my crib, take my medicine and go to sleep. So I'll catch y'all whenever I wake up though. Yo, what's up, what to do fam? I just um, woke up right now. It's 1.15 p.m. And I only woke up because my mom actually woke me up and told me she had made um she had made me something to eat. So that's the reason why I woke up. Otherwise, I probably would have still been asleep because this thing hurt really bad. 
I feel like instead of it helping the situation, they just made it worse. It's crazy, though. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all, but hold on. I can't show y'all. I could, like, it's right there, you know what I'm saying? And the only reason I'm not showing y'all all this yet, because I'm doing, I'm gonna do, I need to start doing my documentary. And y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see what y'all already saw. Like, from the first one. Then y'all gonna see from when I actually had the surgery. But the thing y'all haven't seen is how it looked afterward, how it looked once this just came off. So I'm going to be working on that documentary already soon. Um, And then I'm going to be getting tattooed because only one nipple survived. Only this nipple survived. So y'all seen this one, but y'all haven't seen the outcome, like how it really looked afterwards because then I had to get uh, more surgery because they had to have... Um, like, they didn't take enough tissue out or something like that. And this one, it looks it looks way, it looks really, really weird, honestly. <clears throat> uh, when I go to therapy, we literally have to sit here and, like, try to pull up like this. Because the way it, it stayed, it just looks weird. Um, And then this one, it just looks really weird because it just don't have a nipple. It has a, it has a line, but they're going to tattoo the nipple on this one. Supposedly, they're going to make it look like this one. And I really don't know how that works, honestly, guys. I don't know how it works. But I, I think of anything, I should have just removed both of my nipples. Even though this one did survive, I think I should have just removed them both, though, because it, like, like, the way it looks, it's just like, but this one's all flat, and so, and this one looks kind of all bumpy because of my muscle, but I don't know, I don't really like how it, how it looks, guys, but, uh, the documentary will be coming soon, um, for y'all, and then, of course, when I have the other surgery, of course, I'll let y'all see how that looks, but, um, I don't need to work on that, honestly, but, like, since I've just been in so much pain, and, you know, then I had baptism in, coming up like this Saturday I actually I'm going to be receiving my certificates from bat my baptism because they didn't get to give it to me that day so they're gonna they, my pastors said they wanted to make it special so they're gonna be doing something special for me this Saturday and giving and rec me receiving my certificates and they're, they're giving me like a gift that the church gives to you which I think is like a bible or like some books or something so yeah you know um but like honestly like i just be so out of it like sometimes like i don't even want to vlog but i just vlog because if i don't vlog then i have everybody telling me like why didn't you vlog this it's not that i don't want to it's just <laughs> sometimes i just be in my own zone guys for real like it's crazy, but I just be in my own zone because, like, I'm on so many medications, so. Honestly, I can remember stuff, but it's weird because at the same time, I feel like I forget, like, I'm like, did it happen or didn't, it di It didn't happen. Usually, I've been waking up and I feel so confused because I'm like, man, did that happen? Or am I just tripping? Was it a dream? Basically, like, you know? So, I don't know, guys. So much be in my mind that it's just, like, crazy um and then like you know what I'm saying I'll be worried about my grandmother and stuff and I've been wanting to go out to Mexico to see her but you know I don't have that kind of money right now to go see her because you know I and then having surgeries and stuff it's just like damn man like, I love her so much that I really want to go see her. I I haven't seen her in so, like, the last time I I only seen her one time, guys. And I believe I was, like, two. I was, like, two or three years old. And it, every day I just pray to God that. It's like, just let her hold on so I can go see her, but. I don't know, man. It's just...
is so emotional. Like, my grandma is very strong, though. If there's anybody in this world that I could say that has been through so much and still fighting, is my grandma. Like, she lost already. She lost all her daughters, which was four daughters. She lost three sons. She lost her husband. She lost, I believe, like three or four grand babies. And she's still fighting, guys. That's... she. She's the definition of a fighter. I'm just like, dang. I think that's one thing that always gives me the motivation to keep fighting and never give up. Even when life throws you, life could throw you a lot of stuff, man. And sometimes we wonder why, like why us, you know? Especially if you're like a good person and you don't do wrong to anybody. You just sit there and you ask yourself like, man, why, why do I have to go through this? But... Like they say, God doesn't give you more than what you can't handle, so. I'm just like, dang, you know, but it's, it gets sad, it gets hard. <laughs> but all I could do is keep fighting, keep praying for her. And for me and everybody, all my loved ones. Because, man, life is hard. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to try to finish eating, and I will see y'all in a little bit. Yo, what's up, what a new fam? I came out to the store real quick with my baby brother because he wanted a pickle. And so I brought him really quick. And now we're already about to get home. I'm in a whole bunch of pain, though. I can't even stand the damn pain, and it's so dang hot outside, guys. It felt better this morning than what it does now. Last night it was actually, I mean last night, this morning it was actually cool. And right now I gotta go take my medicines again. And we just came to the store for two pickles. Oh heck no. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and catch y'all in a bit though. Hey, I keep changing shirts. Y'all gonna see me probably with three different shirts on in this video. Because my butt, I change a lot. <laughs> That's just me. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and see y'all in a bit. Chill. Yo, what's up, what to do, squad? Man, my boys, you know what I'm saying? We lost the championship, but I think that had a lot to do because we lost KD the last game. Then today we lost uh, Clay Thompson, and it was just pretty hard for Curry to put up them threes and stuff, you know? But it wasn't that, that of a big loss, so it really don't matter win or lose, you know what I'm saying? That's how they that's how they done it that they were known, you know, to do it, that they made it, you know, five years in a row and they won, you know, they have been winning already back to back. You know what I'm saying? I'm still rocking my gold today, you know what I'm saying? I still got got still got the pants on, you know what I'm saying? Got my shoes on, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta know how to you win some, you lose some. And some people honestly don't even do it for the wins. They just play for it because that's the game they love, you know what I'm saying? A true basketball player only knows that, though. Yeah, you want to win championships and that, but at the same time, it's like you just do it because it's just something you always love to do, you know? A lot of these basketball players do it since they've been kids and stuff. Um, but, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, damn. Like, it was just crazy. It got really crazy, though. Like, I think they could have, all them free throws <laughs> that they kept missing, it was just like, damn it. I think it could have made all them free throws, and instead of trying to make big threes, trying to do either just twos and stuff, I think they could have actually took the win. But since they were, you know, all that happened with um, with Clint Thompson and stuff, it was just like damn. But you know, congratulations to Toronto, and yeah. So, um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because I gotta start editing it so don't forget to like comment share subscribe join the team join the squad <coughs> and i did go to the doctor today i did go to the doctor t like i said i did go to the doctor today and i did get um i did get 
pole right there. Oh snap. Oh, I got scared for a minute. I thought that was blood. I was tripping. That's why I actually had the tube in me. Um, yeah, and uh, like I just haven't been feeling good. I actually almost even forgot that the game was on. Honestly, that was gonna start. I was laying down and I kept dozing. Oh man, like I've been having serious headaches and I just haven't been feeling good. So. And for some reason, I didn't really want to watch the game. But I'm like, man, if it's the last game, especially right there in Oak Arena where they play that, because they're no longer going to play there no more, it was just like, nah, I got to watch it. I got to take one for the team and watch it, you know. Because I was really sleepy. And now I guess that's why I got such a big headache because I've just been so sleepy and tired. And shout out to little my life because she's at the she's at the hospital right now prayers out to her i hope everything is okay i was actually gonna try to well actually i was gonna be there with her but her dad and her oldest daughter are there and there's a whole thing behind all that guys but i don't want to get all into that i just want to send prayers her way and hope she feels better because she literally called me today telling me she was not feeling good and all this stuff and it, it breaks my heart because for me i would be there for her because i know what it feels like when she can't be there for me so I really wanted to be there, but I just didn't want no problems or anything, you know, so. Yeah, but anyways, my brother wants to say something. So if y'all try to talk. Come on. Oh. No. <laughs> so if y'all trying to talk smack on this video, you're going to get blocked, you know that. <laughs> yeah, and my little brother, we were everybody in my career, we were basically rooting for the Golden State Warriors. Everybody here, though, like, you know. My family, they're, they're actually, you know, they they go on for the Mavericks. Like, we all, you know, literally like basketball. And we all like different teams and stuff. Like, one of my brothers used to be a Celtics fan. My other brother is a Chicago Bull fan. I used to be a Chicago Bull fan back in the days when MJ used to play, Dennis Rodman, Scotty Pimpin. I used to be a Suns fan, man. And that's that the Suns is now, like, the Suns, like, the Suns had always sucked. But, man, I, I was a diehard fan. Uh, son span when I was kind of little I was actually little I was actually my little brother's age. no uh, two years younger I was six and and, uh, and I even have my jersey of Charles Broccoli when he used to play for them so like I said I I have a whole bunch of hats I have a whole bunch of jerseys of a lot of NBA players I have socks in that too oh, yeah. and um like I say, you know, just because they lost you doesn't mean that I'm going to stop supporting their stuff. Like, I'm still going to support it because that's only what a real fan really does is support their stuff, win or lose it. Like, you know, we got all them big old Dallas Cowboy fans. That they, My brother's a diehard Dallas Cowboy fan. And don't tell that boy nothing about his, his Cowboys stuff because, you know, he's going to go off on you. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, my a lot of my family, they're Cowboys fans. I'm, like, the only one that actually goes for um the Seattle Seahawks. And back, true story to this, back in the day, I used to actually go for, um, help me out, the Patriots, the Patriots when I was younger. But then <laughs> a whole bunch of stuff happened and I was just like, I don't know, like, I would still rock their, their, their merch, but I, did, I, I haven't in like a minute. But I don't know, man. It's just like when you when you watch or a game that you love, it's just like, you know, you really don't care who's playing as long as you're watching somebody play. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to even go for the uh, for um, for basketball. It's just so many that I can't even name them all, honestly. Um, but, yeah, it's just, it's just crazy. And I like volleyball, too. I, I don't – I'd rather play it than watch it, though. And baseball, it's Texas Rangers – Texas Rangers and the Seattle Marines, I mess with them. And, oh, I can't forget, man, the L.A. Dodgers. Real talk, man. Like, L.A. Dodgers, man, they got that heat right there. And, you know what I'm saying, I, I used to, you know, I used to, I kind of do rock the New York Yankees. And the only reason for, behind was that was when um Texas Rangers let go of Alex Rodriguez or Alex Rodriguez decided to uh, leave the Texas Rangers. He went off to the New York Yankees. And that's the only reason why I would watch that. But I, ha I really, I don't really watch baseball as much. And when I do, I have to be into it. But I'm not going to sit here and be like, yeah, I'm a big fan. Like, nah. But if I have to, like, sport, on, like, a, some gear of them, it would be Texas Rangers, 
Seattle Marines, it, it, but I don't have anything of Seattle Marines. Of Texas Rangers, I do. And in New York, I did, but I actually gave it away. I had a shirt and the shorts, but I actually gave it to some to some dude. But um, oh, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I'm I'm actually gonna give me a new hat. Uh, Golden State Warriors. It's gonna be blue though or black. Oh. <laughs> For sure, I want a camouflage one. But yeah, so you know, and I do, I do talk. I'm not talk, but I used to talk to some people that are Raptors fans, and I'm sure you know they're excited right now. So, shout out to y'all. Um, one of them actually is a close, close, close person that I used to go to school with back in the day, and I'm sure that person is excited. But anyways, though, oh, uh, much love to everybody. Hope y'all all had a great, amazing day, better than me, cause my day it literally has been bad. Like, I literally got news that I might have to get another surgery because they're going to have to go in there, uh, open me up again, find the, um, find the, um, what is it called? Find the, I'm gonna have, they're going to have to go in there and find the nerve that is messed up, that's causing all the pain, and cut it off. Usually, that's what the doctor said that they'll do, that they, uh, that they do that they we usually have to do that so they gave me that big one injection today but it, it didn't seem to work man it seemed to make it worse but like i said i just gotta live day by day take it day by day and you know what i'm saying all i could do is keep praying and just asking god you know to give me the strength to keep on fighting and i had to find things to motivate myself guys because i get in an awkward position where i really feel depressed i feel lonely and everything and at the end of the game either just me making a video me either you know recording a song because i do do music and i do got a soundcloud me recording a song or me i can't play ball right now but if i could it'd be a lot of help but finding little things that i could do just to entertain my head so I won't be that focused on the pain. I try doing that. That's the reason why I literally vlog too. Because I just try to keep my mind off of the pain. Because it's a pain that I don't wish upon nobody, guys. It's really a nasty pain. But like I said, though, um, hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I will see y'all tomorrow. With that being said, I'm out. Chill.